This is the first National Lipstick Day where I have a lipstick that I've made that's out on the market. Oh my god! I don't think I will ever be like over that or like I don't know if I'll ever get used to this. I am just so thrilled. I'm so thrilled. I feel so honored. I feel so like Oh my god. If you are new to my channel, hello, I'm Courtney Quarantine. I'm a full-time content creator variety streamer and I've made some makeup. If you're coming back, <laughs> thanks for being here. Literally, thanks so much for coming back. I see you. I have loved makeup literally since I can remember, so I wanted to take a quick moment to just kind of like talk about it some more because I'm always gonna talk about it. <laughs> but if you already know, you know that I was in the labs with Ma Beauty back in February. So February 2024 is the time that I made these custom products and really got to kind of dive in and have complete like total freedom and also have a brand be like, we wanna do this with you, we want your name, on the soft matte lip box and give us what you got and who did I it was such a wonderful experience it truly was like it felt like magic on another level makeup always feels kind of magic to me it's like painting on your face I've talked about this a lot it is very expressive for me it doesn't have to be for you by the way you don't even have to like makeup to hang out here with me you can simply enjoy like any of my content and if you don't like makeup or like you're a chapstick mascara kind of person or if you just like chapstick or you don't even like lip balm you're welcome here. If you're a hater on makeup though, I would be like, what's going on internally, bestie? What's that about? Why do you hate it? There's certain things about like the beauty industry that are definitely, there are pros and cons, I will say that. However, I really like to focus on the things that I wanna celebrate, the things that I find really exciting and wonderful. You will see a lot of that on my page. Obviously, one of those specific things is Mob Beauty. I love what they do with their packaging, with sustainability. They really freaking care from beyond start of a product to beyond the end of of the use of the product. It is wild, like the things that they think of. It is so wonderful. It is so inspiring and I love to see it. I wish more companies would be like this, honestly, but also I will always be here kind of rooting them on because I so believe in not only the fact that their products are so wonderful and look stunning and gorgeous, but the fact that they care about the process. They care about their impact on the planet or their lack thereof because it's literally turning into dirt. But every industry and every brand I feel like has an impact in some kind of way, but to better it and then also have like a recycling program, there's there's a lot of stuff. We could really get into those things, but I do wanna talk about um, some of my lip products that I made. Now I'm wearing my blue balm right now with a lip liner. I love my blue balm, but technically it's a balm and it's not a lipstick. Mm. Mine does look a little um, used and well-loved because um, it literally is. I use this every single day. I'm obsessed with this. It's just so transformative. It is so wonderful. You've heard me talk about it a million times and I will talk about it a million more. It smells like, God, the smell of these lipstick too. Oh, but I'm going to be talking about M148 just, you know, because it's National Lipstick Day and why not? I also want to talk about my process a little bit too because I love lipstick and I thought we'd chat about lipstick for just a little bit. Now, I will be honest with you and say this is not the only soft matte lipstick that I made in the the lab in February. If you've been watching my content, if you were in the lives, if you've seen maybe a certain highlight on my Instagram, you already have seen some other things. And maybe we will see those someday. I hesitate to even like show them, but maybe I will. Maybe I'll just a little sneak peek, a little, little tiny peek. But this, this is M148. Let me take off my balm really quick. One of the things I really love about these soft mattes is that you don't necessarily need a lip liner. You can certainly use one. I also love to use like lip liner to create kind of an ombre lip and kind of add a little definition here, a little definition there. Also, if M148 is too light for you, highly, highly recommend pairing it with like a black lip liner. This looks so good with black lip liner. Ooh -hoo. But this is really like a signature lip to me and having like my signature lip shade like in the world, seeing my friends in this shade, seeing my mutuals, seeing people who I admire and respect in this shade, it's really shaking me to my core. And like, look at that. First of all, the pigment. I remember when I first tried this from the tube, not just like my samples and stuff, I was like, dang, woo. Obviously Mob is not gonna, well, maybe not obviously, but Mob is not gonna release something that is like subpar. Let's just say that, but wow, wow. Ugh, it's National Lipstick Day and I'm putting on my lipstick, dude. Oh my God. Wow, if I would have told me from even like two years ago, Oh no, can't do that right now. <laughs> Three years ago, God, 
any time. You could have told me this at any time in my life and I would have dropped down to the floor and started crying probably. Or been like, yeah, I know it's gonna happen. I don't know. Who knows? Depending on when you found me in the timeline would determine my response. I love this. I love that it kind of looks a little green on me sometimes. Now this has a lot to do with color theory. This looks so cool on everybody. I think this is one of those shades that feels really cool. I don't know. I feel like I would have um, come in here with better vocabulary, but here we are. If you are new here, I love cool toned lips so, so much. I always have. I remember being very, very small and being kind of frustrated with the fact that like every lip that I was finding was like a warm fuchsia or like a warm mauve. And while those are cute and I do like those, something in my heart, something in my soul, cool toned lips, dude, always, always, always. And I remember seeing pictures from like the 90s or something and just being like, oh my God. Or there were certain shades like along the way around like, I feel like 2014 Tumblr Tumblr days if you know you know but seeing those like cool toned purples oh my god dude my brain my brain this formula is legitimately my favorite kind of like soft matte lip lipstick in a tube it is literally so divine so being able to make some that are like the shades that I crave and that I love so much wow whoa whoa I really felt like I was kind of like floating above my body or something at the labs I don't know it was very much like I went in and I had a lot of lipsticks in mind I had a ton of lipsticks in mind I still do I always do I feel like I'm always thinking about colors. I don't have, I don't know what the thing is called when you like can see certain colors associated with other stuff. I don't know if I have that. I don't think that I really do. I get that question a lot. Um, I see like certain things in a lot of colors. I dream in different hues. This is a thing that I've talked about for years. Um, and this is something that I've experienced my whole life. I don't really know why. Seems kind of weird to me. But a lot of that stuff inspires like the makeup that I want to wear and I like that. I really love that. But to me, having like alternative lipstick shades in brands that I love and support is huge because you don't always get that, unfortunately. There have been so many shades throughout the years, whether they were not cruelty free or from a brand that I just don't like or from a brand I don't want to support. It was like, ah! Dang it! Or when companies re-release shades that like were iconic way back in the day and I'm still like, hey, not cruelty free, but I really like that. And while it is fun to talk about like being able to make this or make multiple lips. Oh my God, if I could be in a lab making lipstick shades legitimately every single day, buddy, I would. Buddy, I would. And I do sincerely hope that you get to see more from me like in that capacity in the future and like as time goes on. It is definitely a goal of mine. It's not just something that I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe. I'm like, no, no. I, I almost feel like too that Mob has given me like a taste of like what it is like to like be fully so involved that now it's like, uh oh, what is the thing? Like if you give a mouse a cookie, you gave a vampire a lipstick and now I have eternity to think about them. And I do. It's just one of my favorite things to think about and to kind of like, I don't even like romanticize. Like I don't care how dramatic or cheesy it sounds anymore. I think I used to be really concerned about that. No, no, no more of that. There are some things that I feel like can be overwhelming and can feel like kind of heavy or daunting with like the beauty community as a whole. But there are a lot of things with makeup that I get like really, really excited for. And I feel like the future has the potential to be really innovative and fun, maybe a little edgy but I also hope that it can feel more approachable to literally everybody to someone who would see this shade and be like oh no not for me oh no 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 oh no 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 the thing about like alternative kind of like subcultures in general I feel like the thing that has felt so welcoming is that people are welcoming people are like oh you didn't fit in over there well you can sit with us that to me feels very like true to these kind of styles to these groups of people to these styles to the aesthetics and maybe I'm a little biased but you can let me know what you think too and I've said this before but you don't have to like make up to hang out here you can sit with us unless you're being offensive mean you're being harmful you're being hateful those types of people cannot. Evil, ugly personalities, mean, bullies, bye bye, no, 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 none of that. And if you're still watching, I will show you a little swatch of something that maybe could be someday. Oh, it's literally perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. Okay, that's all you get to see because again, I don't know what will ever happen with that shade, but I did really love making it. From my brain to a sample pan, it's just been so wonderful. So a special shout out to Mob and literally thank you so much. But I'm so excited for what's to come. This is so cool. So happy National Lipstick Day on July 29th. It comes every year. There are sales and stuff that happens, but I did just kind of want to celebrate this, this cool milestone. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. Follow me for more makeup and beauty content and I will see you in the next video. Bye. It's kind of perfect. It's kind of perfect. It literally is perfect. Ah!